Today we're going to be looking at if we could use a computer from 2003 today in 2019. The computer that we're going to be using for this test is an IBM Think Center A50. The machine has 1 gig of RAM, a 2.6 gigahertz Celeron processor, a 40 gig hard drive, a 52 speed CD ROM drive. We've loaded Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3 on it. And uh, we did install a USB wireless card for internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to test a couple things that you might want to use a computer for today. Uh, one could be documents, uh, photo editing, video editing, uh, internet use such as YouTube and Facebook. We're going to test all of that today on this machine and get an idea of if this machine can do the things that a modern computer can do. Games may be a big point on an older machine like this. Um, a lot of people may be interested in an older machine like this for retro gaming, which is definitely a valid use for it. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the games that I've installed in here, but I'll show you a quick slideshow of some of the games that I've installed. Uh, just to give an idea of the type of performance you could expect from a machine. And me personally, I would have no problem playing some of these games. So therefore, I would consider this computer to still have some entertainment value as far as games go. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the internet experience on this machine. We're going to run Google Chrome. This is the last supported version under Windows XP. It was the best web browser I could find. Uh, to my knowledge, there's not been a supported web browser for Windows XP in the last couple of years. But we'll go ahead and launch Google Chrome. Okay, now we're notice when we first launch it, we get a notice here that says this computer will no longer receive updates because Windows XP and Vista are no longer supported. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and take a look at a couple sites here. We'll just go ahead and do a quick Google search. Google comes up pretty quickly. And the internet seems to work for the most part in this. It is a little slow drawing the page, but it's usable. Let's go ahead and look at some other sites like YouTube and Facebook, uh, which are probably more commonly used sites, and we'll just see how they perform. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube. Okay, the page loads pretty good. Let's just watch a video and see what the performance is like. Okay, so let's talk about spring break. It's what 
Okay, so windowed mode looks like it works pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and go to full screen and let's just get an idea of the performance in full screen. When college students go on vacation and get drunk, you know, to take a break from going to school and getting drunk. But Okay, so YouTube does seem to work okay. It's not the best user experience, but it does work, and I would consider this usable. Let's go ahead and take a look at Facebook and see how Facebook performs. Okay, it does appear to be a little low, a little slow loading. Let's just go ahead and take a look here. It's still loading, we can tell up here. Give it a second to fully load the page. Alright. So it does scroll. It's a little on the slow side. It's I would consider this barely usable. You could use it if you had to. But this is where the problem comes in with the older web browser. It's not all of the web pages are going to work because uh, this version of Google Chrome doesn't support some of the newer protocols that some websites use. Uh, let's just go to uh, a site here and see what comes up. Now this is a forum that I visit regularly and we can see that the website just won't load at all. A lot of websites will still load but there's quite a few that are not going to load properly so this is going to be a problem with the internet on this older machine okay one of the other topics we're going to cover is photo editing uh, could you use an older machine like this for doing digital enhancement or photoshop or anything like that well in this case you can uh, we're running Adobe Photoshop 7 on this machine. It is an older version of Adobe Photoshop, but it runs very well on this machine. I'll give a quick demonstration here. Go ahead and pull this picture off the internet here. see uh, most of these features are working just fine let's go ahead and crop that right like that, right like that. you can see it runs very smoothly So in this case, I do believe that this machine is still functional and could still be used today. Okay, what about video editing? Um, well, I, I did notice that the system had Windows Movie Maker on it, and I do remember using Windows Movie Maker. I thought it would be cool to try to edit this video with that. However, with this machine being older, my camera will not interface with it, so I can't pull the video that I'm recording onto the computer. I thought I'd use a different computer and copy it by thumb drive. However, the file formats weren't compatible. Once I did get the format to be able to be read by Windows Media Player, the quality was so bad that it wasn't worth doing. Um, I did make some of the transitions for this video using Adobe Photoshop and Windows Movie Maker. Um, here's an example that I'm working on now. Um, however, I would say ultimately this isn't going to be good for video editing just due to the lack of hardware support on newer devices and the file formats that you would be able to use to make your videos with. Plus, this thing only has a 40 gig hard drive. My, my video as it sits right now in MP4 format is currently about 2 gigs, so you would eat up this 40 gig hard drive very quickly doing video. So I'm going to say this machine is not going to be that good for video editing.
Another thing someone might use an older computer for is productivity, um, such as word processing, spreadsheets, that kind of thing. Now, because we're running Windows XP, we might as well run Microsoft Office. Now, on this machine, I do have Office XP installed, which is a very powerful program. Granted, there are newer versions, but there's still not much you can't do with these older versions of Office that you can't do with the newer versions. And you have the advantage of that these this software suite is designed to run on a machine with these specifications. So you get very good performance running software on this machine. Now, anything you create, someone with a newer version of Office will have no problem at all opening. Now, you might have some compatibility issues when you're opening documents from a newer version of Office, but there are translators that you can download that will convert a newer file into the older format so that you can still access it. So, I would consider, as far as productivity with Microsoft Office and that type of application, to be perfectly usable on an older machine like this. Okay, what about video editing? Well, I, I did notice that the system had Windows Movie Maker on it, and I do remember using Windows Movie Maker. I thought it would be cool to try to edit this video with that. However, with this machine being older, my camera will not interface with it, so I can't pull the video that I'm recording onto the computer. I thought I'd use a different computer and copy it by thumb drive. However, the file formats weren't compatible. Once I did get the format to be able to be read by Windows Media Player. The quality was so bad that it wasn't worth doing. Um, I did make some of the transitions for this video using Adobe Photoshop and Windows Movie Maker. Um, here's an example that I'm working on now. Um, however, I would say ultimately this isn't going to be good for video editing just due to the lack of hardware support on newer devices and the file formats that you would be able to use to make your videos with. Plus, this thing only has a 40 gig hard drive. My, my video as it sits right now in MP4 format is currently about 2 gigs. So you would eat up this 40 gig hard drive very quickly doing video. So I'm going to say this machine is not going to be that good for video editing. In conclusion, this old IBM from 2003 is not as capable as a computer from 2019. However, I was impressed with its capabilities. It does the tasks that it was designed to do very well. Uh, I do expect the internet compatibility to get worse as time goes on. That will definitely be a downside, but I don't really need to use this computer for internet. I will probably mainly use it for old computer games. Uh, I do have a few other projects that I'll probably do on it. Um, I would also like to do another video of running a light Linux build on it just to see how it runs with current software. I do expect that it should be somewhat operational, um, but I enjoy working on these. I hope to put some other videos together. If you uh, like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day.